Hello friends, welcome back to the Code One Digest channel. Today, in this video, we'll understand what is the purpose of retagging the Docker image. How can you share your Docker image with the rest of the world? So stay tuned. This is very useful information because if your image is just lying in your local, it is not going to help anybody. You have to upload your image to some global repository. For that, you have to retag your image. So we'll see all of that with with a live demo. I'll show you a step by step guide how can you retag your image, how can you upload that image. So in this video, we will see what is the purpose of retagging, how can you do retagging, what all different ways of retagging an image. Then, how can you push your image to some global repository? You have to push your image to some global repository so that people can use it, your project can use it. That is how you will be able to deploy your image into any cloud platform like Azure, AWS, or Google Cloud. So, we'll see that how do you push your image to some global repository and then will test that application. Let's begin with the demo. Now we'll see how can we retag our existing image and how can we send our image to a Docker Hub because to deploy your image to any cloud, be it AWS, be it Azure or be it any other cloud, Google Cloud, what you need, your image has to be available in central repository so what i am going to show you is you have to upload your image to docker hub repository and then you can use that repository in your cloud account in azure or aws to download that image and deploy it so to upload our image to a any repository you must have docker hub account let me quickly show you docker hub URL where you can create your own repositories. I have created one repository. This is my credential. This is my username. And this is the repository what I've created, learning repo. We'll use this in our rest of the demo. I don't have any images of now in this repository. I will see that. So you must create one account to upload all your image Docker up repository. Now let's see how can you do a tagging of your existing images or, or a fresh image. So what are different ways we have to tag our image? Okay, so there are three ways. First is at the time of image creation only we can mention that uh, I want this image to tag with some global Docker Hub repository. So that time I can give the name of my Docker Hub repository in this format minus T and instead of having a local tag name, I will tell this is my hub user and what is the repository name and then colon what is the tag I want to give so it will tag with that docker hub repository second way is to retagging let's say you already have image created and you want to do a retagging of that image you want from local image to a global image so that time we will use this command to retag our existing image in this format docker tag existing image and then this is my same syntax of docker of user repository name and then what is the new tag name okay and third way is if you already have one image running in some container from container we can directly commit to a new tag why this is important sometime what we do is we make our customization in the container and then we can save that as an image altogether. So I don't have to do that configuration in a container again and again, again and again. What I can do is I can deploy an image to a container, then I can modify that container, I can do customization in that container, and I can save that as a new image. So uh, next time onwards, I don't have to do all this process again. I can deploy that image and it will have all the configuration ready. So when we do, when we use commit command that time also, I can mention that please tag it to my global repository instead of local repository. So we'll see all three examples one by one. So these are three ways to retag our 
docker image now final step is we have to push this local image to our docker hub repository so this is a command docker push then the same docker hub username repo name and then which tag we want to push i'll show you this one by one all three processes so i'm showing you the first way of retagging our image where at the time of build itself tag it for a global repository okay so remember in a previous video i shown you how to build an image from our code base so i am in my project directory and i have this docker file available with me i'm not going to change anything in the docker file it let it be as is i'll just show you how to create image and upload image to global repository and if i see what all images i have right now in my local so it is a demo app 3 that we have seen in last video now i will create a new image to upload to global repository so i'll say command you remember can anybody tell me the command docker build minus f okay and then docker file then minus t and the syntax was now to tag to a global repository what was the syntax i shown you in a document so we have to give hub username repo name and tag name so i will give hub user that is code one digest slash repo name is learning demo colon tagging demo one so this is my tag first tag okay for this first type of tagging it is building and so far we had only this image we'll rerun that command of docker images to see all the images it should show me a new image now so let me clear this let's see what all images are available with me now okay so do you see this new image is created a repository name is it is not local repository it's a global repository that is our code one digest learning demo and tag name is this tagging demo one okay so we'll need this tag name at the time of pushing it to global repository pushing of image to a global repository i'll show you at the end just stay with me now we'll see option two where we'll re-tag an existing image that image was already there in our local repository but we rename it to new tag name okay for uploading purpose so let's see what all images we have so this is what we have built now tagging demo one let me use this demo three existing image to tag it to second type of tagging i will name it as a tagging demo two so the command here is docker tag existing image name then code one digest learning demo colon tagging demo 2 let me run this it is done let's see images now you see we have two images one is tagging demo 1 that was done in previous step and tagging demo 2 this is what i have renamed it so it has created a new image from our existing demo 3 demo app 3 image it has created this image you see it has just copied in a fraction of second now we'll learn third type of tagging using commit command how can you commit existing running container to a image name okay let me clear this so we have any container running docker ps yes we have one container running already it is running the same demo app 3 application if you see now if you see docker images so these are the images available with me so now i'll use the third command if you remember what is the third command the third command third way of doing is docker commit existing container name and then this is my tag name okay so we'll do docker commit our existing container id that is this then code one digest slash learning repo is my repository name colon tagging demo three this is my third way of doing it let me do that okay 
it it seems it is done let us see what all images we have now docker images so now we see we have tagging demo 3 is also available here all right so we have created three different images we have re-tagged our existing images to this new tagging with this repository name so that this image is ready to upload to this particular repository now what we do is we will push this images to our global repository now we'll see how can we push these three different tags okay to our global repository let me clear this docker images we have so this three tag will push to our global repository right now let me show you i don't have anything here in this learning repo i'm refreshing so it doesn't have anything right now yep so it is empty this repository has nothing no image let me go back let me run that command docker push our docker user that is code one digest then repo name is learning repo and then colon i want to push my tag one repo so now this is our command where we are saying this is my repository learning repo and tagging demo one Learn, learning repo and tagging demo one let me hit okay so it is transferring it is loading that image to our docker hub repository okay as it is a big 546 mb it will take some time now it is uploaded successfully the uploading of tagging demo one is done successfully let us see here let me refresh so here if you can see inside the tag tab we see a tagging demo is available and it got pushed just a minute ago this is the size and this is a command if you want to pull this image to your production environment any of your environment in cloud using this command you can pull it so you can put this command in your CICD uh, script and then it will pull this image and deploy it so on the same way we will be able to push tagging demo 2 and tagging demo 3 as well let me summarize what we have done we understood what is the need of retagging so when we create image in our local and then we want that image to deploy uh, into some cloud environment that time we have to retag that image so we can do retagging of the image in three ways we can give a right tag name at the time of creating image itself then second we can retag our existing image to a new tag it will create a copy of it third i can create an image from my running container okay using a commit command it's a docker commit command and finally once we have done the retagging then we have to push that image to a global repository in docker hub okay friends let me summarize what we learned in this video we saw what is tagging why do we have to do tagging of our image then what are different ways of retagging your image then how can you upload your image to some central repository like docker hub how can you use your image from the docker hub i hope now you know how to retag your docker image for more interesting videos keep watching code one digest and do not forget to subscribe friends do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. I am creating a lot of quality content which is very useful for the beginners and software engineers like you. I am also creating videos on the topic what people are asking on demand. But I am not getting as many subscribers, as many likes, as many views. I need all your support to grow this Code One Digest family. So do not forget to subscribe my channel. Please click on the bell icon for the latest technology video. Thank you.